know, I personally never really, you know, thought, oh, okay, I can do this. My dad was pushing me a lot to, you know, saying that I, I could be one of these guys. The checkered flag is about to come out for the number two of Ryan Villapoto as he clinches his fist in the air. My grandpa is the one that started it all. He uh, had a couple motorcycle shops back in the day and he got my dad into riding and my uncle into riding. It's been in the family for a long time. Racing was just something that we that we did at, when I was little, but I was really never any good at it until 10, 11. My dad was trying to figure out kind of where I was, how, you know, how good I was, and you know, I was uh, mainly a second place guy, always. Mike Gillespie was winning everything, and he was the guy that, that dominated everything. I think I only really beat him once or twice when, when we were racing each other. He wasn't the best amateur. I, I'm, I feel good saying he wasn't the best amateur, um, but I think everything he gathered and learned helped him when he, when he became pro, and, and it was either gonna be a, a make or break for him, and, and he found the ways to make it happen. You know, I don't think people ever thought I was gonna turn pro and, and do, what I, do what I did right away. He's 100% he's ready every time the gate drops. Drop of the gate and a big jump by Ryan Filippotto. Villapoto side by side. Villapoto goes on the inside. Villapoto wheelies up the hill and goes by Trey Kennard. Ryan Villapoto, a fist pump for the crowd. I look at these athletes and think, oh my God, how do they do it? When you see these athletes, the world-class athletes at their best, it's, it's somewhat breathtaking to watch how these riders can compete and continue on and on and on. Conditioning is 365 days a year for them. They're specialists. Every year, these athletes seem to get better and better and better. And Ryan Villapoto, it's fun to watch a rider when he gets in that zone. You just know that Ryan Villapoto is going to do well. Is it going to be Ryan Dungey? Is it going to be Ryan Villapoto? Villapoto goes to the inside. And Villapoto took a line away from Ryan Dungey. When he first came into the season, an outdoor season, I think he probably, he for sure caught me off guard, and I think he caught Dungey off guard. Um, you know, he's riding super fast. 
right now it's just his time, I think. bit of relief in his style now starting to realize that the 2013 crown is coming his way ryan villapoto is the 2013 outdoor motocross national champ Definitely the most dominant guy in the sport right now, and I, I don't see that changing for a little while. 